what's going on ladies and gentlemen Joshua here back with another video so perhaps you want to know what are the best Skyway fishing pier lures what's the top three I'm going to tell you what I think in my opinion is the top three lures now these work anywhere matter of fact you can use them anywhere along the state any fishing pier in Florida and you're going to be successful so let's hop in and take a closer look the very first lure that I'm going to recommend is what they call the gotcha lure. The original gotcha lure is perfect for bluefish, Spanish mackerel, trout, and honestly ladyfish. Anything that swims around fish appears that like shiny objects, especially pelagics, are going to really be productive in catching. And this thing comes with razor sharp hooks. It cuts through the water, and I'm telling you, it works. Matter of fact, let's tie it on, and I'm going to show you. Maybe we can catch a few fish. So, here she is. Beautiful, shiny, aerodynamic, and you could cast a mile. Not exactly the species we were looking for. Matter of fact, he probably ain't gonna survive too well. But it just goes to show, on my very second cast, I caught a fish. It was a lizard fish. Definitely not the mackerel or the blue fish or the ladyfish that we thought we might get. But that's the thing, you just never know. So why does it work? Well, like I stated before, aerodynamic, it really flashes through the water and when you let it sink it has a diving a spiral like a wounded bait fish effect super sharp hooks the trebles really catch on to anything it grabs like you saw with that lizard fish and it's flashy for spanish mackerel they love the flash and they're attracted to it so therefore it's very very effective for spanish mackerel more specifically now one of the things you're going to find is that you can work it a few different ways. You can work it slow, close to the bottom, or you can do a fast zigzag motion. When you work it with your rod tip, almost like walking the dog, you keep it on the surface going back and forth, and that oftentimes will entice a big strike, especially from a toothy pelagic that seems to be lurking around these bait schools. So another thing that you got to be cognizant of is make sure that when you're working this lure, you're working it with very steady tension if you give any type of slack in your line that is when you're going to get bit off by the mackerel they attack this lure with a vengeance they have ultra sharp teeth so if you give them any slack they're going to slice you right off make sure you're using anywhere from 30 to 40 pound mono sometimes you may even want to go up a little heavier if you want to prevent break offs but that might limit how many strikes you get so play around with it test it let's move on to number two so my number two choice is a small bucktail or a feather jig. Usually in the 1 16th or 1 8th ounce is what I prefer, depending on the current. If the current's really strong, you may want to even bump it up to a quarter or maybe even a half ounce. But in this case, I like small profile baits, especially when there's a lot of small fry bait around, such as the ones you see bouncing all around this jetty. So let's take a closer look and you'll see what I mean. So here she is. Nice, low profile, gonna cast it out. One of the methods that I really like to use when fishing this little bucktail is a very, very rapid and erratic retrieve. Let me show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Take a look. The fast, rapid retrieve that I'm referring to, you cast it out, you let it sink, and then you literally retrieve while you, you pop it. And it's gonna feel a little weird at first, but the fish go crazy. So almost think of it like the cat and mouse game or the string game. When you pull the string away from the cat, the further and the faster it moves away, the more enticing it is. And the fish are almost exactly the same way. The last but not least is one of my favorites, but it's more specifically tailored to pelagic fish, bluefish, uh, mackerel, and ladyfish. It is using a spoon squid 
or a diamond shaped spoon like you can see here and a trolling sinker now you may ask why would you use a trolling sinker from up here well what you do is you tie on your trolling sinker then you get about 10 yards or so of 30 to 40 pound test mono and then you tie on your spoon and then you cast it out and retrieve it just like you would if you were trolling with it now if you want to see me rig this give a thumbs up comment below let me know you want to see exactly how to rig it and work it so that way you can effectively catch fish using these two items so if i get enough comments for it then i will go ahead and make an additional video so that's it guys that's my three top fishing lures for the skyway fishing pier that are also extremely effective for any fishing pier all around florida if you enjoyed this video thumbs up comment below and subscribe and guys until next time i'll see you on the water